What is your idea of Hamlet? No. No, I'm not equal to it. You couldn't manage it on the three points, could you? <laughs> it's quite simple. He proves by algebra that Hamlet's grandson is Shakespeare's grandfather, and that he himself is the ghost of his own father. What? He himself? The sacred pint alone can unbind the tongue of Dedalus. <laughs> I read a theological interpretation of Hamlet somewhere. The father and the son idea. The son striving to be atoned with the, the father. Young fella that ever you heard, me mother's a Jew, me father's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> right we oughtn't to laugh, I suppose. He's rather blasphemous. What does he call it? The ballad of Joke and Jesus. Ah, uh, you've heard it before. Three times a day after meals. Uh, you aren't a believer, I suppose. I mean, a believer in the narrow sense of the word. There's only one sense of the word, it seems to me. Yes, of course. Either you believe or you don't, isn't it? He who stealeth from the poor lendeth to the Lord. Thus spake Zarathustra. Personally, I can never stomach the idea of a personal God. You don't stand for that, I suppose. You behold in me a horrible example of free thought. An Irishman must feel that way, I dare say. We feel in England we've treated you rather unfairly. It seems history is to blame. Of course, I'm a Britisher, and I feel as one. I don't want my country to fall into the hands of the Jews. I'm afraid that's our national problem just now. <laughs> 